How to delete Microsoft Auto Update from Apple Mac computer. This is Mac OS High Sierra version 10.13.6. First, go to the Macintosh hard drive. Next, select Library. Next, go to the folder with the title Microsoft. Next, go to Edge Updater and see the Edge Updater application. Delete this folder, move to trash, and then empty the trash. So this was a summary of the steps required to delete the Microsoft Auto Update from the Mac. In the remainder of this video, I will elaborate on these steps. So this is an Apple iMac 27 inch late 2009. The Mac OS is High Sierra version 10.13.6. Today I installed the newest, compa newest compatible version of the Microsoft Edge browser. When I did that, it also installed the updater. From my experiences uh, in the past with the auto updater, um, it will auto update the Microsoft Edge browser to a version which is not compatible to uh, the Apple Macintosh High Sierra version that I have. So I want to delete the Microsoft Auto Update from the Mac. It turns out that it is no longer called the Microsoft Auto Update. It's now call, called the Edge Updater. So the old icon had the box with the four tiles, red, blue, green, and yellow, and the name was Microsoft Auto Update. And I've seen this multiple times in the past. Microsoft Edge switched the auto update to the Edge updater, knowing this is very important. Because when I looked in the Microsoft folder in, in the Mac library, I could not find the old app, auto update. But I did find the Edge updater app. So the instructions that I followed were found in osxdaily.com and the URL of this web, web page will be in the description box below. And it gave me simple instructions, which I followed here. So I'm doing this on my computer. If you do it on your com own computer, you do it at your own risk. So on my own computer, we'll do this right now. Basically, you go to your main hard drive, Mac. Uh, Macintosh hard drive is the name of my main hard drive. You click that and it opens up uh, the folders in the hard drive. Applications, library, system, and users. So then you go to library per the instructions. Open it in a new window. In the library go to the Microsoft folder. So this is the folder entitled Microsoft and it has one folder within, uh, within and the title is Edge Updater which is the new name for the auto update app. So opening up this folder we see that there's only one application, the Edge Updater. and this is what I want to delete. So I'm going to delete it right now. I'm actually going to delete the whole folder. Move the trash. Then I'm going to open up the trash and I'm going to empty it. Bye bye and I see 
Then on my hard drive, library, Microsoft, it's not there anymore. So that's how I removed the Microsoft Auto Updater. The Microsoft Update, the Microsoft Auto Update app from my Mac, now called the Edge Updater. Today is October.